Hi friends, it's Elsie here and today I'm going to share some tips with you on creating your very own macrame plant hanger, um, maybe designing your own and um, I'm going to show you different ways to secure it to the ring as well as um, some measuring tips. So this example is uh, one that I take with me when I'm teaching a macrame plant hanger workshop and it has a metal ring inside. It's covered with rope, and I do have a separate YouTube video if you guys would like to watch that. Um, this one is secured to the ring using a gathering knot, and then I have four different posts, and they show different examples of ways that a student can create a plant hanger. So um, this one is, I guess, similar to a lanyard or is sometimes called a sinnet and it's just repeated square knots. This one is square knots and then it turns into the, a twist. This one is just the half knot twist. And then this one just has some space in between square knots and then a twist and then some more square knots. So um, from there you um, create your carriage and the carriage is what you would put your plant in and then you have a second gathering knot down below. So, um, typically, if you are going to do any of this style, which is popular to just do um, half knot twists um, or just square knots, you would want for your longer cords to be twice as long as your shorter cords. And that is because your filler cords will stay the length of your plant hanger and the working cords get worked around your filler cords. Um, with that, if you want a plant hanger that is four feet in length, you would cut your shorter cords eight feet and then your longer cords would be 16. And I usually give some leeway, I would cut them 18 feet. So that would um, give you a plant hanger that is four feet long. Again, your shorter cords would be eight feet, your longer cords would be 16 to 18 feet. Um, and then most of the plant hangers that I design either have um, three or four posts. So this one has four different posts, so it therefore has four shorter cords and four longer cords. I hope that makes sense to you guys and I didn't confuse you, but um, it should be helpful. So for this example, or the first one I'm going to share with you today, I am going to um, show you the easiest way to um, secure the cords to the ring. And I have three shorter cords, three longer cords, and I um, would just place the longer ones over the shorter ones. I would do a lark's head knot and pull all the cords through and that is a quick and easy way to get started on a plant hanger. Um, you would just tidy them up, tighten them up here so they look nice and um, that would be it. So that's a super simple way. Another way would be, again I have three shorter cords, three longer cords. These are the shorter ones here. I would take one of the longer cords, one of the shorter cords, and I would attach two at a time to the ring. And I think that's a cool way to start a plant hanger. You would, um, for this example, I would then have three posts and I can just start um, tying knots from here. So I would do like all half knot twists and that would create a plant hanger there. So you would want your longer cords as your working cords to go um, on the outside and you would just start to create your plant hanger there. Another tip is when I'm teaching a class, um, you want to separate your cords into groups. So typically it's groups of four, and so I would um, have two shorter cords and two longer cords in each group of four. So these are my longer cords here, 
and I would get two longer ones, two shorter ones, and I would, um, to help students in a class, I just have them do like an overhand knot. That way they're separated and then they can start working on um, their first um, post there. So the most traditional way I think a plant hanger is started is using a separate gathering cord. So in this example, it's four feet long and um, you would create a gathering knot. So again, we have three shorter cords and three longer cords. So you would put your shorter cords into the ring and then you would put your longer cords directly over your shorter cords. And you tie a gathering knot. So there we go. So now I have the cord here. And again, I have a video that would show you how to do it, but you basically, you make a U shape, you would gather all of your cords, and you go around and around and around. I typically say like 10 or so times. And uh, so you put it into the bottom U that's down here, you, and then you pull up from here and you cut this loose end and this loose end, and then you're left with a gathering knot. And again, you separate your cords into groups of four and start working on your design. So I hope that those are helpful tips for you to create or design your own plant hanger. Uh, and if this is helpful, please do share with a friend. Uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I'm really making an effort to share things that I think will be beneficial for um, someone starting out or somebody that wants to advance their skills in macrame. And um, so I would really appreciate if you subscribe. I am also going to be um, changing things over to lcgoodwin.com. So right now you can currently sign up for emails there if you would like, and I will be sharing um, new patterns, new kits, uh, workshops, and things that I think are uh, important to the creative community. So thank you guys so much.